thank you for joining us again. Um, again, my name is Chris Meckley from ACI Aquaculture. We're gonna do a short segment here on uh, the newly described species of uh, fairy wrasse. The nickname is called the magma wrasse, Serolabris sp. Does not have a species name as of yet. That will come here in the very near future. The magma wrasse was found in 180 to 200 feet of water on a volcanic island. And the reason they named it magma wrasse is because the volcano is still very active. Um, my friend Barnett Schutman from RVS Fish World and his crew found this fish in very deep water in a new area where they were allowed to be collecting. And as of today, if I remember correctly, he sent, I think, 30 specimens to the Australian Institute of Science to have them classified. And Barnett, of course, will get the credit for that. Um, Barnett and his crew are the largest net collecting advocates from anywhere in the world. They refuse to purchase fish that are cyanide caught, even though that is impossible to be 100%. But his crews are all trained with nets. The fish are collected sustainably. And it's gonna be a great day when they finally come up with a name for this beautiful and rare fish. So currently, since uh, RBS Fish World has had these wrasses now for about a month, um, we received four of them about, um, about three weeks ago. And just last week, we received four more. We received right here, four sub-adult males. Um, we will also show you uh, some photos of the super males and what the fish actually morphs into as they mature. They're some of the most amazing wrasses that I've ever seen. They are up there, right up there with uh, some of the holy grails, such as the flames ordinai, the uh, lineatus, the labaudis, rhomboid wrasses, to name a few. Uh, there's been a lot of newly described species of wrasse that have been a, that have come to the aquarium trade recently. Personally, I think my favorite is is Barnett's magma wrasse. Being that it is a fairly new species in the industry, from what, what we've seen so far, upon receive, receipt of the fish, we've noticed that within 24 hours, they're eating uh, my favorite pellets, the Otohemis, which is um, widely distributed by Reef Nutrition. Um, and we've never had a problem with them eating them immediately. Um, they require you know, very good water quality. And of course, because it is a fairy rash, they're pretty much, um, in, in, the, in the tidal zones, in the reef zones, where they do require good flow. We found that when we have them in an aquarium where there's a high flow or a jet coming in, they sit right there and they swim right at that flow all day long. And uh, one of the things I always enjoyed about rashes is they're always on the move. Um, if they're hiding, something's bothering them. But these guys here have been um, great. We've had them now for one week. We've been saving them just to do this video and we wanted to make sure they went through the proper quarantine process as well. Being the fact that they're new, they're not, a, they're not an inexpensive fish. They're quite expensive and it's not for the average hobbyist. Um, it's for somebody that is more on, an, you know, not necessarily an expert level, but somebody who's been doing it for a decent period of time that is willing to spend the money on such an amazing animal. We have had um, no issues with them in the eight that we have, that we have received. Uh, no issues with them eating. The first four all went to very good homes, and we've actually found out from one of our, or two of our customers that one customer between both stores purchased two of them to have in the same aquarium, and I'm waiting now for the video to come back, which I can't wait to see of the two fish swimming in the aquarium together. Um, once again here, we're gonna do a quick recap on our beautiful magma wrasse. Uh, collected around 180 feet to 200 feet of water. Uh, very easily adaptable to an aquarium life. It's not recommended for a, a fish only aquarium. It is a reef fish. Whoever's getting these fish should be putting them into a reef aquarium environment. You do not need sand, although most of our reef aquariums do have sand in them. These do not live in sand beds like some of your hal halicanthus or halicorus species, thalassomas. They are going to be a reef fish. They build a cocoon around their body at nighttime to help hide their scent from predators that are prowling the reefs at night. The fish is eating from day one, within 24 hours of having it, otohemi pellets that we um, received from Chad at Reef Nutrition. Um, I don't like to say this too often, but we call them reef crack. Um, they are a great fish food all around, very high in protein. Uh, any of your rashes should adapt well and start eating it immediately. Um, 
These are juvenile males that we have and we will show you photos of the, of the super males here and what this fish will morph into in the future. It shouldn't take too long if you have a very good setup and are feeding very well. Again, my name is Chris Meckley with ACI Aquaculture. We hope you enjoyed this segment.